Hello folks, welcome back. welcome back. For I'm the one, the only. I am Hobo Tom. And while it's just been a crazy week, I've been recovering a little bit from allergies, which is good. I think I'm over them. I think I'm 99% better. Um, it was just a long week for me. Again, it's that week where I had to get back to normal because the previous week was just chaos. I showed a little bit. I showed a little bit of what happens when I go to the spa, which is always a good thing. I'm not here to talk about what I do. I'm here to talk about some rebellion. I don't know. You know, impact with all the stuff going on here in the U.S. Around the world, they need to pick somewhat better pay-per-view titles. I think. Then, oh wait a second, I forgot something. Hit my music. Yes. And let's see here. You know what I'm gonna do? Should I do that? Huh. Yeah, you know what? I know other people would do it. So, for this video, there's going to be a little background noise. So, let's see here. I like doing things on the fly. Doing things on the fly is fun. And I think because of the fact... Oh, what's that? Because it is Rebellion. Seriously, let me... But she moves this microphone over a little bit. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's not too bad. Just don't shout! There we go. Super Echo. I know that. I heard the name of this. Whoa. You almost see her boobies. I like that. There we go. I don't know how well I can hear that. So I have to speak up a little bit. Play over the music. Actually, I can always do this too. So much editing. There we go. That's pretty good. And I can always get closer too. Yep. Body position. So again, this is a card for impact. Again, card subject to change. I have no idea what's going to go on. Um, because it's a rebellion, you have a little bit of the revolution song going on in the background. I have no idea how well this is going to translate. I will find out later. So let's see here, so I think that one of the first matches we're going to have is going to be uh, Fire and Fleva, which is Tasha Steeles and Kiara Hogan. We're going to take on Jordan Grace and um, someone. It's probably going to be Santana Garrett, a recent, a recent release from NXT. So we'll see what happens there. Fire and Flava. Are, take, are holding on to those belts. Jordan Grace has to find herself a better tag team partner. Maybe we see a Laura Van Ness return in the future. That would be that would be pretty good. But yeah, Fire and Flavor is going to win. And you know what? I don't know. All these matches are pretty good. Minus. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Then we're going to have Chris Saban, Eddie Edwards, and James Storm taking on Violent by Design. Um, I think... I have a weird feeling Violent Design is going to win. But this is one of those six-man cluster matches. If Violent by Design wins, I'm going to take a nap, though. Because that is going to be my snooze match. 
Then we have Trey Miguel versus Sammy Callahan. This has to continue. This reign of terror by Sammy Callahan must continue. For the most part, Sammy Callahan is the draw on impact. Sammy Callahan wins. Matt Cornona taking on Brian Myers. I don't know. I, f I forget if this is a blindfold match or if this is a stipulation match. I'm just not too sure. Wow, I didn't realize how short that song was. Wow, that's over already? Darn, this is a longer video than I thought it was going to be. So, that's the end of that, I guess. Yep. Invasion. Let's see here. So, we'll see how that goes. But that's okay. So, I'll put this mic back to where it should be. To its proper place. And I can chill out a little bit. This is my nice, excellent friendo shirt. Again, it's a neutral event. I have no clue what shirt I'm going to wear. In fact, I have to start getting ready for work. So, I have to hurry this up. Uh, Matt Cardona versus Brian Myers. You know what? Matt Cardona's going to win. Yeah, my hair's all kind of weird. I just felt so exhausted last night. Ace Austin versus Josh Alexander versus TJP. This is going to be my match of the night. This is going to be an extremely fun match. I think this is going to have, actually, all the aspects of the old school X division. Remember, Ultimate X was one of the most amazing, crazy matches ever. This has that feel to it. I think Josh Alexander is going to win. Again, this is Impact. I'm terrible at predicting Impact, especially because I haven't seen it in a while. I was torn about things, but Deanna Prazzo versus Tennille Dashwood, Dashwood for the Knockout Champion. This is my Stone Cold Lock. Deanna Prazzo is going to keep that belt. She is not going to drop that belt anytime soon. She's definitely not dropping it to Tennille Dashwood. She is so good with that belt. Although I could see someone released by NXT by or WWE taking that belt off her. So yeah, Deanna Prost is going to retain that belt. Again, that's my stone cold lock. Then we have Finn Juice, um, Fit Finley's kid, David Finley, take and... Juice Robinson taking on the Good Brothers. I think that was a show of good faith by Impact to New Japan, saying, hey, we're, we're done our old ways. We're going to have some good, show you some goodwill. We'll put the belts on Finn Juice for a while, but then eventually we want to take them off. The Good Brothers are getting their belts back. Carl Anderson, the Machine Gunner, and Doc Gallows, I'm going to win those. Oh, wait a second. There's only one thing I have to do in order to announce them as winners. Let's see here. I should have kept this open. No, it's so hard thinking of... I write stuff down, and then all of a sudden I think of something on the fly. So let's see here. This is... I have to think about what I'm doing. There we go. Crank this up a little bit. Put the microphone, put the microphone back. So there's only one way to announce the Good Brothers winning. And of course, they're going to get their tag team belts back. And it should be a, this is actually be a pretty good match. So there we go. Maybe I cranked it up a little too much. That's okay. I'm going to leave that up there for a second. Because there's going to be one more match we need that for. 
Oh, wait. And that's, that's the next match. So here we go. Crank that back up. Get that reverb going. Because in the next match, we have Rich Swan taking on the cleaner, Kenny Omega for the Impact Belt. Yes, the cleaner, Kenny Omega is going to win. This is going to be a Bullet Club night because they're too sweet. And if you're a Bullet Club, folks, remember, you're a Bullet Club for life. So yeah, there we go. A little Bullet Club team playing in the background. Stop that now. So that's... So there's the, the beautifulness. Oh, maybe Chelsea Green. Oh, wait, Chelsea Green, yeah. That's right, she is... What am I thinking? I'm so confused right now. So that's Impact Rebellion. Um, and my predictions. So this video will be going up eventually. I'll get this video up and running. Let's see here. 11 minutes, half hour. Ugh. Nah, probably probably later tonight. That's okay. Also later tonight, I have there's been a request put out there that I make a standalone video and shoot I have to start that too. Where is I have to get the oh, little Oh this is never charge up? Uh oh. I had to charge something up. So much eh, That's enough charge for me. That's okay. So later tonight, I'll be making a standalone video. It's going to be cooking with, it's going to be the Hobo Kitchen. I don't need to erase all images. Yeah, because I already did that show. Please wait. Uh, I'm going to be making kind of fake Chinese food. Uh, this was a request. Someone wants to know how, what I call fake Chinese food. And mainly it's because I cook it kind of. Oh, wow. That's an old, that was a ladder match. I'm not good at winning ladder matches for some reason. That's an old one, an old one too. Huh. See, racing all images, I'll let that charge up. Actually, I should have to use that right now. Um, so with that, again, also later tonight, so that video will get put on later. Um, probably up by tomorrow. Also later tonight, probably tomorrow morning-ish. Will be my review of SmackDown. It was a pretty decent SmackDown. I'm just a little bit behind. I was just feeling tired. I think I worked for about thir uh, 12. I worked for about 11 and a half hours. Got to work. Had some other stuff to do. Went to the gym. Went to the did errands. So I was just zonked. The red wine and pizza knocked me out. So again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And again, I'll be back later. And, I'll, and probably for Impact Rebellion, I might miss a little bit of it because I do have to work. But I'll catch most of it. I'll see you guys then.